Okay, guys, I'm going to go get a haircut again. You guys know that I cut my hair or got it cut about a week ago. And I said that she cut it a lot shorter on the sides than I wanted. And she kind of gave me basically a mohawk. And I like it, except for the fact that this side right here just wants to separate. So I think I'm going to go and just have my sides defined. Just have those parts cut in there. I think that'll be cute. And have this tapered a little more. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here, it just goes right, and then it just jumps to this length right here. There's no, there's no um, gradual fade there. So she kind of missed the mark when she cut that right there. So I just see little imperfections. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's annoying me. And then just the fact that this open space, I just want that. I just want this whole perimeter to be a little more sharper. So I'm gonna just go find a barber. And um, see if I can just walk in and get that tapered up just a little bit. So I'll be back. I just did my hair today and um, this morning. And I like the way it feels. It feels nice and moisturized. And I just used that um, super wet or that wet line gel. That's all I use. Okay, real quick, this lipstick. This lip gloss. It's a, it's a lipstick. It's a liquid lipstick. And it's matte. But I put a gloss on top. So, the color is called Bewitch, and it's an L.A. Splash. Did y'all know L.A. Splash burned down? I've heard that on, in one of the groups that I'm in. But they sell L.A. Splash in some beauty supply stores. So, if you guys have L.A. Splash and you don't have this, check it out. It's so pretty. It's just a pretty bright pink. So, that's what I have. And then I just put this Butter Gloss, this NYX Butter Gloss on top. It's like a sheer... It's pink too, but it's not opaque. It's kind of sheer. It's called sugar cookie. So it's a, that's perfect with that. If you don't, I don't like matte. I like to put a gloss on top. And then on my lid, I just have um, a Milani, one of the Bella um, shadows. This is Bella Rouge. And then I am wearing my beloved MAC foundation. And I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it with um, the Pro Long Wear powder. So I'll do that. And then I'm gonna just I'm gonna get going because I'm gonna just see. I'm gonna be a walk in. I'm gonna see. It's early evening. I should be able to catch somebody. But yeah, I'm just showing y'all basically before. That's kind of a homemade part, but I want that just to be crisp on both sides. All right, I will be back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. It's the next day, and I found a female barber. And so this top part of my hair, it just wants to do whatever it wants to do. I was particular about it falling a certain way. Sometimes it'll stand up. Today, you know, this one wants to fall. So I'm going to just let it do what it wants to do. I think that's the beauty of it, you know, just whatever it wants to do. So I like how she cut my hair. And I don't like it. So, um, I do like how she cut my hair overall. Little imperfections, no big deal. I'm not even going to mention that. Um, the crisp line, she gave me just what I wanted. Uh, she gave me my parts to kind of just distinguish between the two different lengths. And they're drastically different. She took it down a little lower than I wanted. Because even the last time I got it cut, I thought, wow, this is a little lower than I wanted. It's starting to look like a mohawk. It was never intended to be a mohawk. And this lady took it down even lower. So I'm totally okay with rocking a mohawk for now. <laughs> Let me show you the bag. I'm going to just go with it for now because it's fun. It's summertime. It's fun. I think I'm going to get my color redone soon. Um, I might even do a different color. I'm not sure. But I can always grow it out. And I'm going to grow the top in a little fuller. While this stays tight, maybe not this tight, but she did say next time I come, she wants to blend where the two meet, kind of get a better um, fade going there. But yesterday, I didn't want her to go, I didn't, you know, I don't know her like that. I didn't want her to touch my hair like that. Just give me my parts and line me up. And so, pretty much, that's what she did. So, um, that's that. So, I want to talk about real quick, and this sun is coming in this window, and this is my second time trying to record this video, so I am super hot from the sun, so I'm going to go fast. Someone asked me, what products do I use to take care of my natural
color treated hair and um, I definitely want to go through the products that I use but I don't do anything different or anything special because my hair is color treated and I was really really nervous about taking my hair up this light coloring it this light because you know they say when you color your hair um, your hair tends to be drier when your hair is natural it just naturally tends to be drier so what I found that the key is keeping my hair moisturized and keeping my hair deep conditioned those two steps I had to do anyway so absolutely doing nothing different so let me just show you what I use for my regimen I shampoo my hair once a week so let's say like on a Tuesday I might shampoo actually I did it I think Sunday this time Sunday or Monday and then I'll later in the week I'll cleanse it again I'll do a co-wash I'll shampoo once co-wash another time and my hair is getting cleansed twice a week so this is a shampoo bar from I believe this is from Sorenzo Bath and Body it's raspberry black soap it's a cookie shaped like a cookie and I just take it while my hair is wet get a good lather it lathers up so good this stuff keeps leaves my hair so moisturized it doesn't strip or anything very very nice love that and then right now what I'm using for um, my co-wash and this may change next week or in the next two weeks but for the last couple weeks I've been using this VO5 um, clarifying conditioner pick that up from one of the uh, drug stores really really like that um, I think weeks prior I was using the Shea Moisture for my deep conditioners I reached for this again I pulled this back out of the shelf this is one of my absolute favorite deep conditioners uh, Miracle 7 I picked it up from Sally some months ago it is incredible like your hair is going to be like super soft and this as well surprisingly I got this from Dollar Tree for one dollar so now I said like this I just picked it up because that's old school brand so let me go ahead and see what this is about and try it has argon oil this almost acts like it says restores and strengthens this almost acts like a protein treatment which you know I need to do that I do that every few weeks so um, my battery's flashing at me my leave-in Karen's body beautiful nothing special about that I do like it um, my stylers haven't been using eco style gel but I've been using this I got this from the Dollar Tree one dollar I like it it's um doesn't have a strong hold like eco styler but it's nice and I pair it with um, a styler and right now I'm using Quimex biologic twist butter it's a nice thick creamy twisting butter so I like to put, put that in my section, smooth it through, and then add a little gel on top. And then I like to seal it with this lot of body edge control. And I talked about how I use my edge control because this offers so much shine. It was making my edges so shiny. I don't want shiny edges. So I was like, well, I'll put it in my hair and it offers a nice shine. So I like to seal my ends with that after I've twisted it. And then... Finally, I think this is the last thing, is my moisturizers. And I've talked about this in my favorites, the Sorenzo Bath & Body Body Frostings. And this is just one of them. This is the Fizzy Ginger. And it literally is just a body butter, basically. But she calls it a body frosting. The consistency is a little different than a body butter. But it's basically the same thing. Moisturizes the skin so nice. And it does the same thing for the hair. So... I will, like I said, cleanse my hair twice a week, shampooing it once, co-washing it the other, and I will retwist my hair maybe once, sometimes twice throughout the week. And then, because I like it to look frizzy sometimes, like today when I walk outside with the humidity, it's going to frizz up, and I might retwist it, and then I might not. I might wait till tomorrow. And then, um, but every time I retwist it, I I moisturize it. So that's how I use my moisturizer when I'm retwisting. That is all I have, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, any requests, and I'll see you guys in my next one.